In this video, we will go over the SQL literals and the choose function. A SQL literal, or sometimes referred to as a constant va value, are fixed data values. So, for example, you could just write select and one, and you'll just have the value one show up. Same thing, you can actually write the number one and have the value show up. Uh, same thing with dates. If you write it in the date, the date will show up. So SQL literals there, it seems simple, but it's very important when we come to data analysis or database development, when we need to create different types of views or visualizations, we use SQL literals a lot. So let's take an example. Let's look at the sales order header table. So in the sales order header table, we have subtotal value. So we want to, or let's take the total to do. So we want to see, we want to categorize the total due as far as sales amounts. So we want to categorize, was this a high sale for the sales order or was it average sale or a low sale. So we have been given to us a, a categories of what's a high sale, a low sale, and a medium sale. So someone wants that data returned to them in exactly that order. So how will we do that? We would select first the sales order ID. And next we want to know the sale. So we will use a case statement and we will write case when total due and let's say a high sale is greater than or equal to 20,000 then high. And when total due is less than 20,000 and greater to and total due is greater than we're going to say 10,000. Or greater than or equal to 10,000. We want to make that a medium sale. And when total due is less than 10,000, we want to make that a low sale. So we end our as sale type, we'll call it. And then we'll just add, make sure you add a comma after that and we'll add total due. So we could see what the total is next to it. So see here, we're using in literals, constant values to categorize the sale. And we're missing the then. Okay, so that's how you would use a case statement and literals to categorize your data. 
So you see here we have sales type over 20,000 high, lower than 10,000 low, in between 20,000 and 10,000 is medium. And we can also order by our literals. So we could take sales type, that's a new column we added to our table. And we could order by high to low sales. And then of course you can be you can then group you can perform aggregations on this type of data so you could then start to sum or count your high lows and mediums and then return that data accordingly so this is just how you could take some data and regroup that data and classify that data using literals so now we're going to go over the choose function and the choose function is just choose and how it works it's a index and then a value list so that'll make a little more sense in a second so let's just do a basic example we're going to choose and index is the index position and we're going to have a value list. So we're going to have one, two, three, four is our value list. And when we run that, we get the number one. So it, with the index in SQL, the index starts from one. So we chose the number one position. Now let's select the third position. We should get the number three. And if we go to select the fifth position, it's null because there's no value there. And four, we should get four. Now let's see, where can we use this type of expression with the literal to classify data. So we're going to use the shipping method table. So we have five shipping methods and we uh, we have already have an ID here, so we could use the ID to identify the shipping method as the index. And now, when the index returns, when this number returns in the index, we can add values in here, literals in here, to represent what we want to rename the name value to. So let's show that. So we're going to choose a shipping ship method ID. And for the first item, we want to rename it to ground. We don't want it to be called truck ground. We want it to be called ground. The next one, instead of ZY Express, we just want it to be Express. And the next value, we want it to be called Overnight D instead of Overnight Deluxe. And the next value, we want it to be called Overnight F for fast and the next value we want it to be called just cargo
and that is going to be our first column as new category and we're just going to select star after this to select the rest of the columns in the table so here we want to have a new column and we're recategorizing we're renaming all of the shipping methods so we execute and you see we used the ID for one first position to rename ground to ground same thing with express overnight deluxe overnight fast and cargo transport so this is the choose statements a, a little bit faster if you have an ID you can use this when you have an ID or categories it's a faster way than the case statement to rename your data using literals now let's try a different example and for this example we're gonna use different type of data we're gonna have some hierarchical data So we have an employee ID, human resources, we have organizational level. And we want to categorize that level. We're going to say, we're going to, there's four levels, I believe. And we're going to categorize them into executive, manager, senior, junior, according to one, two, three, and four. Four. That's how they've told us that we want to categorize the organization level. They're either going to be executive, a manager, a senior, or a junior. So again, we have an index of values, and we're just going to rename all those titles according to the index value. So let's show that example. So we're going to choose organization level. And the first value we want to be named executive. Second value we want it to be manager. third value we want to be senior and fourth value we want to be junior and then we're just gonna add in job title here and that's it now let's run that Or let's also add in organizational level for reference. And we're going to run that. And you'll see that we have the organizational level. Let's add in a name. New level. So we have all of our four categories categorize into junior so if you're a tool designer research engineer you're a junior senior tool designer you're a senior engineering manager your manager and the vice president of engineering you're an executive so another way to use a choose statement is when you have hierarchical data you can use the case statement, but this is just a little bit more shorthanded and um, easier for you to read back. 
So that is it for SQL literals, and we also went over the choose statement.